This is Chris M, and I'd like to have another conversation with you about your Kundalini. One of the uh, unique, one of the many unique uh, aspects of the Kundalini is how it can travel to other people. Uh, for instance, uh, a person who is inside of an awakening event can transfer or initiate an awakening event to to their spouse or their significant other and this may not be the, the the best thing for that person to have happen to them because they don't know what's going on typically uh, unless of course the the uh, awakening individual has mentioned to them you know what kundalini is and what they may expect it doesn't always get carried through into an awakening remember we have an activation first and then after a spinal sweep or a, a complete chakra opening with the, the kundalini, this can transfer it into an awakening. So, typically not by standing next to a person in the grocery store or waiting in line at the gas station or in the library or sitting next to somebody at school or at the office. These aren't areas where you really need to be concerned about it. But when you're sleeping next to a person or, or you know, with a person, uh, engaging in, in uh, lovemaking with that person, a transfer of the kundalini can happen. And, uh, you know, it can be quite the reality-shattering experience for the person who doesn't know what is occurring. And so I would really, if you do know that you have kundalini, and uh, and your spouse or your significant other does not well then I would I think the responsible thing to do would to give them a hard copy of the safeties the safety protocols for Kundalini Awakening that we have at Kundalini Awakening Systems One dot com free you know it's a free document and uh, leave it on the coffee table or leave it on the bed stand or somewhere where people can look at it and have a real conversation with your significant other about the kundalini and what they may expect and if it's something they want to have occur and so the next question comes up well what if they don't want to have that what do we do then well not always is it a guarantee that a person who is uh, awakening to the kundalini will activate their their significant other it does happen it's a possibility Okay, and if that person is dead set against that occurring, well then, the, the awakening person's Shakti Kundalini being a consciousness of its own can communicate, can be, or can communicate uh, to the potentials within the other spouse or significant other, and that can be backed off from. But there still may be some phenomena associated with it. An awakening individual is, is really a, a, just a power plant of phenomena, okay? They'll, they'll be very hot in bed, and by hot I mean temperature, but I'm sure some of the other areas, you know, would be covered under that term. Uh, they will have plenty of exalted psychic uh, phenomena occur for them. And the spouse or the significant other may share in that. So it is something to consider. Uh, the other thing that you might want to consider is that it's no accident that you're with this person and that you have Kundalini. Okay. It can be as a precursive teaching for the significant other so that they, later on in their development, may be able to have and to hold a Kundalini awakening or activation. It's all good. It's all good. It's just our parameters of fear that will typically place it into a, uh, a fearful event or, or something that would not be desired. Kundalini exaltation is extremely desirable and 
you know, the more education a person has, the more information a person has to process uh, the Kundalini without being enveloped by fear, fear of people who don't understand it, who, who don't have it themselves. You know, this would be uh, a good way to approach it. Uh, and the Shakti Kundalini may have this in mind for your significant other anyway, which is why the two of you are together and you're awakening. And they're at the moment, and they are at the moment not awakening. They are still receiving a teaching. Anyway, thank you for listening. See.